we are going to prove root 3 is an irrational number so we are, that is to prove root 3 is not a rational number so opposite assign panikka porom suppose that root 3 is a rational number so let us consider root 3 is a rational number what will happen let us see so root 3 is a rational number so it can be expressed in the form p by q here in uh, you can any use any letters instead of p and q i have taken m and n so here m and n are positive integers with no common factors greater than 1. So m and n are now this fraction is in the simplified form that means so here the common factor the only common factor is uh, 1 and it has no common factors greater than 1 ok. So root 3 equal to m by n now root 3 n is equal to cross multiply we get root 3 n is equal to m then to remove this square root squaring on both sides we get 3 n square is equal to m square now 3 n square is divisible by 3 3 into something so it is divisible by 3 so it shows that m square is a multiple of 3 since m square is a multiple of 3 m is also a multiple of 3 so m can be expressed as a multiple of 3 so 3 times k something 3 times something m is a multiple of 3 so we are so we are representing m as 3k now substitute this m as 3k in the first equation so 3 n square is equal to 3k the whole square so 9k square so n square is equal to 3k square after after simplifying we get n square equal to 3k square now this 3k square is also divisible by 3 it shows that n square is a multiple of 3 so similar to this m n square is a multiple of 3 so n is a multiple of 3 so that n can be written as multiple of 3 so 3 times some constant so 3 times l here i have taken so n is equal to 3l so it follows that m and n have having common factor 3 so m is a multiple of 3 and here we have seen n is a multiple of 3 so both m and n have common factor 3 which is a contradiction to our assumption that m and n are positive integers with no common factors greater than 1 so likewise we have assigned no common factors greater than 1 so if we take root 3 as a rational number here we are getting uh, 3 as a common factor so which is a contradiction to our assumption so our assumption is wrong so what is our assumption root 3 is a rational number so our assumption is wrong so automatically root 3 is an irrational number we are going to see exercise 2.1 question number 3 are there two distinct irrational numbers such that their difference is a rational number justified so is it possible two distinct irrational number we have to consider and their difference should be a rational number is it possible or not so we are going to discuss let us consider two irrational numbers 2 plus root 3 and 4 plus root 3 so already we know that root 3 is an irrational number so we'll adding a number with an irrational number or subtracting uh, we'll adding or subtracting the resultant also an irrational number so if you add anything with an irrational number the sum is also an irrational number so i am taking the two different distinct irrational numbers 2 plus root 3 and 4 plus root 3 now let us find the difference between two difference between these two that is 2 plus root 3 minus of 4 plus root 3 okay then it becomes 2 plus root 3 minus 4 minus root 3 now plus root 3 minus root 3 get cancelled the answer is minus 2 so minus 2 is a rational number which is a which is a rational number because minus 2 can be expressed as minus 2 by 1 it is in the form p by q so it is a rational number so is, this is possible are the two distinct irrational numbers such that their difference is a rational number so is it possible or there the question is or there so we can write yes yes if two the difference between the two distinct irrational numbers is a rational number is it possible okay so in general form if you want to write it in general form you, you can take a plus root b root b and 
C plus it would be like that you can take. So if you want to give some number as an example, take like this. Okay. If, if, you, if you want to write it in general form, give the example in general form, write like this. A plus root B and C plus root B. Now find the difference. A plus root B minus C minus root B plus root B minus root B get cancelled. So A minus C, which is a rational number. So in general form, we can uh, write like this. Okay. If you want to give a, an example using numbers means write like this. Okay. Next one. Find two irrational numbers such that the sum is a ra rational number. Product is also a rational number. So likewise we have to give uh, an example. Sum and product should be a rational number. So let us consider the two rational numbers 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. First let us find the sum. 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3. That implies while adding these two get cancelled. The sum is 4. So 4 is a rational number which is a rational number this is a rational number now let us find the product for the same two numbers 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 now let us find the product so it is in the form a plus b into a minus b so a square minus b square so 2 square is 4 and root 3 square is 3 4 minus 3 1 which is also a rational number so if we take uh, two irrational numbers, their difference is a rational number and their sum is also a rational number, product is also a rational number. This is possible. Not in all the cases it is true. For some cases it is true. So for that, so if the difference would be a rational number means we have to consider like this. 2 plus, uh, it is in the form a plus root b and c plus root b means the difference will be a rational number. If you want to uh, give an example for their sum and for product as a rational number, just take the conjugate for that number. 2 plus root 3 is an irrational number. The conjugate is 2 minus root 3. Now, if you take conjugate like this, while adding, we will get a rational number and while multiplying also, we get a rational number. So, here also you can give the example in general form. So, for that you can write a plus root b and a minus root b. It should be in the form a plus root b and a minus root b means the sum and product will be a rational number. Okay. This is 2.1. Question number 5. Find a positive number smaller than 1 by 2 to the power 1000 and justify. So we know that 1000 is less than 1001. That implies 2 power 1000 is less than 2 power 1001. Now I am going to take the reciprocal. So, while taking reciprocal, the inequality will change. For example, 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 4. So, half is greater than 1 fourth, we know. Now, take the reciprocal for both sides. 1 by 2 becomes 2. And 1 by 4, the reciprocal of 1 by 4 is 4. Now, 2 is less than 4. So, while taking reciprocal, the inequality change. So, likewise, here I am going to take reciprocal. That is 1 by 2 to the power so, this inequality becomes greater than 1 by 2 to the power 1001. So, while taking reciprocal, the inequality will change. So, 1 by 2 to the power 1000 is greater than 1 by 2 to the power 1001. So, the smallest positive uh, number, just less than 1 by 2 power 1000 is 1 by 2 power 1001. So this is our required answer.